Yo, what's up? My name's Goodwin, and welcome to my videos. What's going on, everyone? Today we got some fun stuff planned. And by fun stuff, I mean totally not fun stuff that I don't want to do at all, but I have to. So, got this nice, beautiful cardboard piece right here because yesterday my power steering decided to take a shite on me. So that little like rubber piece right there is leaking. Pretty sure it, there's so much fluid you can't really see it, but like this whole thing is like soaked up and pretty sure it, it pretty much dripped every drop of power steering fluid out of my truck. So, that's really great. It happened out of nowhere, but whatever happens. We're not gonna worry about the, that today, I don't think. Um, depends on how well this goes. So, I got some new pieces. These are four link drop brackets, um, which should drop my four link arms enough to push my front axle back out and correct the caster, which in theory, we'll also correct the death wobble. But we don't know yet. Oh yeah, look at this bad boy, this thing's so heavy. That's how you know it's good, good quality. Fab tech. So this is the old one. Really small and like, pretty small, you know? I mean, if you have a, a an eight inch lift, which this kit was an eight inch lift, then it works really, really well. But I don't have an eight inch lift anymore, so we got this. I don't know how really well you could see it, probably terrible because my camera doesn't like to focus. There we go, it's a lot bigger. So my game plan, simple. Jack the truck up. Unbolt these uh, four link arms from this thing right here. Drop the four link arms, put this one back in here, but it's not gonna be that simple. I'll explain to you later. I might have to do a little bit of trimming. Um, I already knew that getting into this. Hopefully it's super easy. And that'd be awesome because I have a lot of other stuff to do. Um, hopefully we could just get this on like really quick and it will go super well and nothing will go wrong. And then, you know, it'll make life a lot easier. And then we can figure out the power steering stuff because, you know, Daytona truck meet is coming up real soon. As of right now, my, my truck's not, not, it's not, going, it's not going well. Enough talking, got plenty to do. I'll go ahead and jack the truck up, start taking shit off. So I just actually found out something really funny. Um, now, by no means am I an automotive expert, but if this is what a cab bushing is supposed to look like, I think this one might, might be missing something. Um, I don't know about that one. That could explain why when I hit hard bumps, there's a big clunk in the back. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We have plenty more to do. So, instead of finding more problems with my truck, I'm just gonna keep fixing the ones that I already know I have. All right, we got the truck jacked up. Now we're gonna go ahead and start removing these four link bars. Hopefully they come out really easy. Um, then I can just, ideally I'd like to just drop them for now. I think I might have to take them completely out, but I just wanna drop them for now and then remove the bracket and then put the new bracket in at least one of them and just see how it fits that would be that's what I want to do okay so I was just able to pull one four link arm out and here you'll see where we run into problem is that for whatever reason this bracket I don't know how you can see that is a little bit smaller than this four link arm so what I'm gonna do I think is Hmm. I'm gonna try a couple things and I'll get back to you and see what I do about this. Okay, so I went ahead and just threw this bracket in. Um, it's not tight, but it's it actually, this is a really well-made bracket. It goes all the way to the top here. So like, it, it's in there pretty solid. Um, you can see already how much it drops compared to the other one. It, it should work really, really well. Um, now we have to deal with fitting these in here because like I said before, they're a little bit too big. So I just went ahead and this sleeve was in here, this metal sleeve. So I went ahead and punched it out along with one of these rubber things. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this metal sleeve to fit perfectly in here, which is about 
literally the length of the thickness of this metal that's how much needs to be cut off and then I can gauge how much of this to cut off when I have this the right size so I went ahead and trimmed this metal sleeve to size and then I also just decided the easiest way would be to just cut the end off of uh, one of these rubber bushings so I, I pretty much just cut this lip off of the other side um, so now there's not going to be a rubber bushing on this side um, I mean honestly if you know how four link works this is a really shitty design anyways it doesn't allow for like much articulation so I mean it's not gonna be much articulation anyways and if you understand what I'm saying then I mean this is not smart either way but it it it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world so now I can go ahead and just pop this back in here so we can just go ahead and give that a tap in there there we go hammer this in here Now, if we flip it like this, it looks a little funny, but this should fit quite perfectly. Boom, problem solved. So I just went ahead and popped this, this one out of the lower arm, and we're gonna do the same exact thing to this. So since I'm cutting the same amount off of each of these, I literally just put the bushing on the sleeve and cut it off with a saw. It was it was super easy, like stupid easy. Okay, so we got one side in. Everything's just there loosely right now. Um, I have to go, I'll tighten everything once it's dropped on its own weight. But it was actually really easy since I left the wheels on. I just had my dad come out here. And once I disconnected all the four link arms, he was literally just able to push my wheel forward and backwards to align the nut and I just slipped it right in. It was actually like insanely easy. Now you can see the angle of the king or I'm on a driveway right now, so it's like slanted, but compared to the uh, the box at least, you can see that it has more caster, which is, su you, you can, I mean, you can clearly see it. Um, I feel like this is actually perfect. I'm actually really stoked about this. Um, and I also found something else, which I already know is a big, big reason I had death wobble. This bolt right here, it's not going to focus, but... This bolt is the is the track bar. Track bar goes up. I have it disconnected right now. This is loose. Like it's like it's actually loose. Like I'm not going to be able to do this right now. I'll show you later, but my track bar is loose. Which is a uh, probably why I had death wobble in the first place. Fixing the geometry of the suspension and tightening that nut should fix the death wobble completely. I'm out of breath. This was a lot of work. So I have to go ahead and run to Home Depot real quick and buy two more long bolts because my old four link brackets only use three bolts. This one uses four, so I need two more, two more bolts that are pretty close to those sizes. And then I can go ahead and cut off uh, the, other, the other bushings and throw these other four link bars on. Hey, hey, we're, we're chilling. Things are going great. So I just picked up some bolts from Home Depot. They're pretty identical in length and size. They just don't have this smooth part right here, which is fine. I couldn't find washers that go along with them and they don't have locking nuts. So I grabbed a bit of Loctite there just to, you know, make sure these don't come loose when I'm bumping around and stuff. Um, other than that, I'll go ahead and throw two of these in real quick on one side and then we'll get started uh, cutting up the other side. So I just threw in these nice, pretty brand new bolts here and I used the old ones up here. Um, they're just hand tight right now. Same thing with those, hand tight for now until uh, I get the other side in and then I can drop it. Um, I want to, the main thing is I want to have the weight on the truck before I tighten anything. That's usually rule of thumb for suspension. Then once I get these bars in, I can go ahead and realign the track bar, realign the drag link if it needs it, and make sure everything is tight. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure, make sure my truck's not crab walking because Fern told me it was a little bit and I really don't like that at all. I just threw 
screw this side in. Really easy. Um, you can kind of see my dad pushing the wheel while I finagle all this stuff in. So now that these are all in, I took the jacks out, I dropped the truck so it's on its own weight. Now I can go ahead and tighten every single bolt uh, related to the four link and then we'll go from there. All right, I, I got all the four link stuff tightened up all really nice and tight. Now I get to hop under here and put the track bar back on and then tighten up this, all this front end stuff. And I'll go ahead and double check everything too just to make sure everything is super, super tight. I just tighten up the track bar. Um, everything's tight, looking good. Looks really good actually. I'm gonna go take it for a quick test drive. Hopefully it's all good. Okay, so I have a really good update for you guys. I just took my truck for a pretty extensive test drive. Make sure it was, you know, handling well. Nothing, you know, clanking, squeaking, none of that. Um, I drove it like pretty quick over some bumps, which would have sent it into a death wobble before, and it didn't, it was super stable. Um, it handles a lot better, no bump steer. Uh, overall, it's just it's really solid, and it looks a lot better with the front wheels pushed back out. Um, it looks so good. Looks like a spaceship. I fixed the front, the steering, so the steering wheel's straight now. Track bar is aligning the front. The lights are like blinding. Uh, yeah, it's looking. It's looking super good. So here's an angle of the front. You can see that the coilovers are like slightly tilted forward, which is really good. It means it has some uh, positive caster, which is ideal. That's exactly what you want. Um, everything else, you can see the four link bars are dropped down a little more. It looks really good. Fix the geometry. Super, super good. So there's one more thing I'm going to do today. I didn't touch a power steering because when I was driving it, it stopped leaking, so I don't, I mean, I don't know what to, uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's not leaking anymore. So I don't know what's going on with that. I bought some ATS, synthetic ATS fluid. Uh, just in case it keeps leaking, I'll just keep filling it up. So I don't know about that. We'll figure that one out later. For now, I think it's fine though. There's one more thing I'm gonna do tonight. My rock lights shine on this pan right here. And I hate it. So it's kind of hard to hear because my truck is super loud. I'm gonna pull it in the garage, or not in the garage, but I'll pull it back in the driveway and I'll explain to you more about why I hate this pin. So long story short, whatever I did, uh, fix the death wobble, fix the geometry, fix the steering, everything is completely fixed on the truck. It rides really, really well and I'm super happy with it. Now, last thing I'm doing tonight, um, I try to say it with the truck on, but the truck's super loud. So there's this pan right here, protects the transfer case. You can't see it. Ah, God, that's really hot. Um, so yeah, transfer case right there, front axle, I mean front drive shaft, rear drive shaft comes out of it. Um, so I decided to mount my rock lights right here and they like shine this little stupid tab right here. It's so ugly and stupid and it looks dumb. It, like it's shining something dumb up. So I'm just gonna take the whole pan out. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm not gonna, you know, scrape my transfer case my truck is freaking high and uh, maybe if some rocks fly up into there you know based off of how uh, my pan looks right now it looks like rocks don't fly up there too often um, now so I know I'm gonna get comments like you shouldn't take that off you're gonna freaking hate it when you when your transfer case explodes like okay um, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it when we, when we get to it uh, for now I'm taking the pan off before I start Gonna crack a nice cold beer. Get off there, buddy. Ruining my video. Cheers, everyone. So how's life? I hope everything's good, you know. Hope you're making that moolah, living it up. Can't wait for Daytona, coming up real soon. A lot of you guys actually already DM'd me and asked me if I was going. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be there. Uh, me, Fern, and Sabas are going. We're gonna be there, I think we're riding up Thursday the 6th, maybe? The 6th to the Monday the 10th, the Thursday to Monday, whatever dates those are. I think it's 6th to 10th. 
Um, so yeah, we'll be there. No, I'm not going to be in the show. I'll probably go to the show one of the days. Because um, to my understanding, it's three days long. Um, but really, I'm going to just be out there cruising. I want to go get some sun on the beach. You know, hang out, meet some people. Um, like this whole truck like scene thing is very new to me. I don't like if I go to something like Simply Clean, I know... I know so many people there, I can just talk for days. Something like Daytona Truck Week, I mean, I have my handful of friends from down here, and I know a few people here and there, but, I mean, I don't, I really, compared to everybody else, I don't know anybody. But I'm super excited for Daytona, I'm so hyped. Okay, let's get to work. So pop that off real easy. Ow, this is really hot. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit, there's a lot of dirt and whatnot right there. Pull those two little brackets out. Um, then I have some undercoating, give it a little spritz bit. And then put the rock light back on. That's it. Oh yeah. Got a little line tone right here. Just gonna zip tie that real quick. All right, we got that out. See, that looks so much better. Now there's not just like some random like white fucking square right there. It looks so ugly. Yeah, that looks super good. Damn, all in a day's work. So I am super like, I'm just so stoked of, of like how much work I got done today and how well everything went. Really no hiccups at all really um so that's really really good turn the rock lights off close up for the day go eat some dinner so if you guys like like always if you guys have any questions at all dm me on instagram happy to answer all your questions i actually have a lot of you guys in my dms right now wanting to do a very similar setup to what i did i'm very happy to answer any questions and tell you guys how to do it um there is a few modifications that you have to do so it's not as straightforward as buy this part put it on buy this part put it on um but yeah, like I said, I'll explain it. I've sent pictures to people. Really, I'm just happy to help. If you did like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. About to hit 28,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And on that note, I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Why they wanna be me? It's not what it seems. Running to the bank, putting wet on my Achilles. We been thumbing blue faces like they Washington's. From MIA up to Washington.